What's up, my comic community? My name is Cullen, and I collect comics. And today's Sunday. I should have done my uh, pulls from the comic strip before now, but I just haven't had time to. I didn't have time to make it to the shop until uh, Friday because they uh, had just gotten the Marvel in, and uh, just you know how it is sometimes. But so it's pretty much went really late. But at least it's not next week yet, so we can get right into it. I picked these up from the comic strip, my favorite local comic shop. It's across from the old Esquire Theater in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. We're starting with Batman Adventures Continue, Season 3, Issue Number 7. And this has a Juan Ferreria, Ferreria uh, uh, cover with a Ty Templeton interiors. And, of course, Alan Bennett and Paul Dini right in this. The Quarter Owls are back, and they've conscripted Man-Bat to join them in their fight against Batman. While Batman faces off against the attacks of the Court of Owls, Bruce Wayne continues to be roped into Ra's al Ghul's uh, mysterious scheme. Batman is besieged on all sides in this pre-ultimate chapter. All right. Next, we're moving on to DC Ruby. Uh... This is issue number seven. Of course, I uh, kind of got into Ruby really late, like when it started, it first started out. Like, I got into it probably a couple weeks before the creator died. But uh, I've always really liked Ruby. Uh, Megan Hetrick did the cover for this. Sue Lee's doing the interior art. And uh, uh, Marjorie uh, Bennett is the writer for this. Team Ruby are trapped in the bowels of Arkham as crazed Batman and Joker uh, Nukleev duke it out. They'll need to make a desperate play to pull Batman back from the brink. But they, if they can't, it'll be the end of the DCU and the Remnant, and Remnant as we know it. All right. Next, we're moving on to the Night Terror stuff. This is issue number four, and it's the origin of Insomnia. And uh, Evan Reese and Danny Meeky did the cover for this. Uh, the interior art's done by Casper Wingar and Giuseppe Camicoli, and Joshua Williamson's writing this. Let's get to the solicitation. Learn why, why Insomnia hates our heroes. Insomnia searches nightmares of all the heroes for his precious nightmare stone and keeps on coming up empty-handed. Wesley Dodds, Batman, and I must return to the haunted Arkham Tower to confront Insomnia. But now I know why Insomnia hates the heroes, and I gotta be honest, I'm having a hard time not relating. Maybe Insomnia is owed his revenge. All right. There'll be one more uh, Night Terrors after this. There'll be the uh, next week, the uh, end game kind of issue comes out, the final issue. But uh, next we have Night Terrors, issue number two of the Action Comics Night Terrors. Night Terrors Action Comics. And uh, Rafa Sandoval is the cover artist for this. With Vasicio uh, uh, Giorve and Micro Suyan as the artists, and Leah Williams and Philip Kennedy Johnson are writing this. Hunted by Cyborg Superman, reality bites. With the her perfect nightmare world slowly showing its cracks, Power Girl searches for answers, hoping to find a villain to punch and, and a way out. Little does she know... A threat from her past is here to control her future. Plus, in the Nightmare Realm, a hideous transformed cyborg Superman is consuming the Superman family one by one. Who will be the final L? Can the powerless twins find a way to fight back before cyborg Superman claims them all? All right, next we've got Night Terror Angel Breaker number two. This one looks really cool cover. I absolutely love this thing. It's uh, by Matteo Lali. Of course. Uh, Tim Seeley's writing this, and Aki Bright is the interior artist. Protecting the waking world, Angel Breaker and Raptor are trapped in a Cobra Club lab while the world sleeps. 
no one is coming to their rescue, unable to trust each other, even unable to trust even each other. They must somehow protect teenagers from the horrific Nanny Gilo, a legendary slasher pulled directly from Angel Breaker's deepest, darkest fears. All right. Next, we're moving on to Detective Comics number two of the Night Terrors. And this has a Ricardo Federici cover. Danny Waters is writing this, and Feder Ricardo Federici is also the interior artist. Wake up, Jim Gordon. After diamonds violently pour out of a woman's mouth and the metal of his old Batman robo suit soldered onto someone else's flesh to wear around Gotham, Jim Gordon slowly realizes the good people of Gotham being represented by the monstrous idealizations of power, wealth, and knowledge aren't very good people at all. Jim's investigation leads him to a mysterious clock and he goes to Oracle for help to face who or what is causing the nightmare. But whether he will is able to wake up from it at all will be up to more than just himself. All right. Next, we're moving on to Night Terror's Harley Quinn. And we have this awesome cover right here that is done by... Oh, who did this one? This one's the uh, Hayden Sherman cover. And then we have this absolutely knockout Jenny Frizen cover. Absolutely love this Jenny Frizen cover. But also, this uh, Tula Latte cover is also a pretty sweet one. And uh, yeah, we'll go uh, right into Harley here. We'll put it back on this A cover. Uh, the interior art for this is done by Ben Temple Smith and Hayden Sherman. I've been loving Ben Temple Smith's artwork ever since I first read 30 Days a Night, like back in, I want to say 2002. But yeah, his stuff's great. Harley's surreal slumber. What unseen horrors lurk behind the boulders of the known and the clown? Whispered secrets from the elbow of the garden gnome. A parking lot pass that was lost under an anti-Olivan car seat from hell. And a nihilistic grease trap that does taxes incorrectly. All these things and more are not in this comic. It's Harley again. Part two of this story is as we just as weird and whacked out to the max as the last one. This time, we'll reveal the one true secret origin of Harley Quinn and we'll go toe-to-toe-to-toe -to -toe -to -toe with one of Superman's greatest foes. Plus, my best pal Leah Williams and Ben Tibblesmith are turning the clocks backwards and forwards in the conclusion of their Chrono Detective Cosmic Mystery dream story all right that's a lot to say next we're moving on to our final titans book and this is night tears titans number two and this has a scott godlewski cover and he's all scott godlewski also did the interior arts and andrew consultant did the uh uh, in tear the writing Titans together in terror as a nightmare rages on and the mysterious versions of the Teen Titans roam the halls of Titan Tower a young girl finds herself trapped inside the building how did she get there and what heroes can possibly save her as the Titans face their worst fears all right and that's the end of the DC we're moving on to the Marvel we've got this amazing Spider-Man number 32 and this has this awesome, it says, you know, it's got the Ramita. I like how it has the Ramita tribute here on the cover. Uh, it's uh, got a John Ramita Jr. cover. Uh, it's got Zeb Wells writing this, Jonathan Hickman's also writing this, and Patrick Gleason's doing the interior art. Two of Spider-Man's villains are forming the deadliest team-up he has ever had to face. 
But are they after Spidey, or is he just in the way of something bigger? Patrick Gleason rejoins the Amazing Spider-Man crew for the darkest arc of Amazing Spider-Man yet. All right. Next, we're moving on to Daredevil and Echo number four. And uh, this has a Neil, or a Neil, a Phil Noto cover. Phil Noto also did the interior arts and Taboo B and B Earl are the writers. The sins of the past are alive and angry. Daredevil and Echo face not only the nefarious Dima Goblin, but a bigger and wider and much, much, much older enemy. And that has had its hooks in Hell's Kitchen for generations. A dark night of the soul will ask, will demand, what our heroes are willing to give to stop an all-consuming evil. Don't miss this issue as our saga comes to a blistering conclusion. All right, or a blazing conclusion, sorry. Next, we have Marvel Unleashed number one. And I picked this up on Saturday because it was National uh, Pet Day. And so I wanted to get it for because I had my dog Loki, and I was like, oh, they got a b good pet book coming out this week, so it's perfect. So it's a National Dog Day, but yes. Uh, so I decided to read this too. It's absolutely wonderful. It has a uh, Kyle Starks writing this. The covers by David Baldine, and of course Jesus Reverses, the interior artist, and I loved it. It's really good write read. Craven unleashes the beast when Craven abducts Lockjaw. At the same time, a local scientist mixed up aim, or a local scientist mixed up with aim goes missing. It's up to Throg, the th th Frog of th th the Frog of Thunder, Redwing the Falcon, Chewy the Cat Flurkin, Lucky the Pizza Dog, Bats the Ghost Dog, and their new scrappy ally D Dog to save the day. But there's more to in this case than meets the eye, and something infernal lurks in the shadows. Can feathers, fangs, claws, and claws stand against one of the deadliest foes in the Marvel Universe? It was absolutely wonderful. I can't wait to read the next issue. You should definitely check it out. It's fun. Uh, next, we're moving on to Plan the Apes, issue number five, and uh, this has a Dean White cover. Dean White did the, or, uh, and uh, the writer for this is David F. Walker. For some reason, that doesn't tell me who did the interior arts, but uh, let's read the solicitation. Who will survive the revolution? A, revolutionaries, a revolution is brewing in the UK as Pug's traveling army of apes gains momentum as they set their sights on England. What results is an explosive battle that will charge, change the trajectory of the world as we know it. Meanwhile, Juliana and Omet's voyage uh, to guide the apes to the CDC hit a speed bump. Now, separated into two groups, it's anyone's guess where the apes will live long enough to be humanity's salvation. All right, so that's my pickups from the comic strip. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Tell me what you guys are picking up lately in the comments. Uh, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.